In this video, we will demonstrate our work on learning to generalize for complex selection tasks. Many of today's software interfaces provide the user with the ability to apply a single operation across multiple objects. For example, in the file browser, a user can apply operations such as delete or copy to multiple files once they are selected. This paradigm requires that the user first specify which items are to be affected by selecting them. In selection tasks which consist of many individual objects, and in which the target selection does not easily group together, selection becomes a tedious task requiring the user to manually sift through a large number of objects and perform many clicks and mouse movements. In this example, the user is trying to select all files containing copy in the file name, but has to go through them individually since sorting and block selection are not helpful here. In order to help users with these complex selection tasks, we have been investigating new methods for smart selection in which the user provides positive and negative examples of objects to select, and the system attempts to correctly generalize to the intended selection. While we are not the first to work in the area of smart selection, our work is unique in that it uses data from many sessions and many users to learn the best way to generalize user selections. To generalize selections at each instance of the user's input, we treat the items the user has selected or deselected as positive and negative examples, which are then used to train a classifier of boosted decision trees. This method provides a controllable level of complexity and robustness as described in our paper. Every time the user selects or deselects an item, the learner adds it to its set of labeled examples and retrains the classifier with the minimum level of complexity to correctly classify the examples. The process continues until the user completes the task. The problem, though, is that there are very few labeled examples to learn from. Our work responds to this deficit by learning additional information about how users generalize over the course of many tasks. To do this, we look at behavior features that are not specific to the particular task, such as what actions the user will take in response to automatic selections. As users will typically perform many selection tasks throughout their daily activities, we can gather a large amount of training data on how they behave. We use this historical data to train a secondary mechanism, the label regressor, to make probabilistic predictions about the user's intended selection states. These predictions are then fed into the selection classifier, providing additional soft labels that augment the user's explicit selections and deselections. We now go through a detailed demonstration of our method. In this example, our goal is to select all the Perl files which do not contain backup in the title and copy them into a separate directory. After two files have been selected, the system attempts to generalize, but it has selected a few examples we did not want, so we deselect one of them, and it updates its predictions. We now provide another positive example, at which point we can quickly verify that the system has selected all the correct files. Next, we can apply the intended operation, copying the files and pasting them into the target directory. Thank you for your attention. For more information about this project, please see our paper or visit the URL listed below.